All right, one of the coolest setups I've run across in a long time, so I wanted to give everybody a tour. This is a Manelian Company of Troy, New York, 10 bell chime. Um, 1927 casting date, 1927 installation date. Um, had a swinging Borden bell. This one is about 3,700 pounds, but um, in addition to swinging, it was also part of the chime scale with this large tolling hammer here. The remainder of the bells are hung stationary on a perimeter beam, and um, in this day and age, I'm going to say basically all bell chimes and carillons were fully manual, meaning somebody needed to physically be playing a, uh, a keyboard or a console to move the hammer, strike the bells. Same exact concept as a piano, except for on a much larger scale. Um, automation became much more common as time went on, but 1927 we're still we're way back in the early electrification days etc cetera, etc cetera. but um, this particular system despite being cast and installed in 1927 utilizes entirely automated equipment from the get-go so rather than having um, those manual linkages I described we have a series of electronic connections that make their way over here to a series of um, coils that when energized pull together and move a linkage just like a, a person playing the keyboard would. However, these linkages all went to hammers and rather than having somebody play it, you had somebody sitting at a little electronic keyboard pushing the keys and making the big metal move around. Um, pretty, pretty cool. This um, was surprising to find, but what was even more surprising to find is that power was still live to it, and the one bell that is still connected to the linkages is still working. So if I push in this contactor here, it sends power over to one of those coils and pulls on that hammer. I'm going to do my best to kind of get this all on video, but...